Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hydroneer. Uh, things are a little laggy around here right now. I have been shopping, and the back of the truck is full. Uh, today, I want to tackle the beast. I have made a slight modification, and I think it might actually work, at least uh, leave less work for me to do. I'm actually loading up on wrenches right now. Uh, grab a couple more. A few more anyways. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add shredders at the end here. Uh, and I'm going to have to move the harvesters just slightly. And I am going to do a bit of a change to the, the sorting conveyor. Because I think it's still got a little bit more pressure. So I'm just going to basically extend the pipe underneath it a little bit. Uh, to drop the pressure so it doesn't shoot them out too f as far. And hopefully we get everything in the coffers. Because let's be honest here. Uh, less entities we have, the better. Uh... Good Lord, we already know that my building skills have got lag under its belt, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, let me finish this up and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back and that was one hell of a laggy ride, I'll admit that. But, uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here because it's pretty laggy. I've reset the, the pots a little bit. Uh, I moved this one a little bit too because I noticed it was dropping there. I might move, it, might move it in a little bit more once I get it running again. Uh, but what I'm going to do, uh, as far as this goes, I need to slow those belts down just a little. Uh, I'm going to go in underneath here and I'm going to add... Probably going to add five more pipe sections in here just to lower the pressure. Because I know, you know, like I said, the further down the pipe you go, the lower the pressure. Which means the slower the things are going to run. So I can adjust the speed of the, top of the belt. But what I've done, we'll go over to this one here. If I can get up there. Which I can't. Excuse me a moment. Let me uh, get my weight out of this mess somewhere. Here, yeah. I'll find my way there. Eventually. Ugh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Piece of cake. Yeah, that's what I love. About, that's what I like about editing videos. Anyway, so what I've done is basically I moved the harvester out one. I've turned it sideways, so the output is on going this way. Uh, I put the shredder at the end. Of course, I got the plug in there. Put the hopper here. I have done a test run. It seems to work okay, uh, but that was just one of them. Uh, so when I get the whole machine going. Things might be a little different. I will have to clean up the dirt before I get this running. But in theory, if they do get stuck up here and they pass through, at least they should get in here. But whether or not they drop, actually drop in or not, I don't know. I have thought about putting walls up just to make sure things don't drop down and cause an issue. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. So it is getting dark. I am going to refit all these machines. And I'll bring you back and then we'll get it up and running and I'm going to try to honestly I'm going to try to bear with this for a good two hours and see what I can get out of this. Uh, I also am aware that these things will still somewhat run if they're not repaired so I might let those spark away as long as I keep the harvesters and the filters going we should be okay. Uh, if I could make a million in one go I'd be so happy but let's face it my game's going to crash before that happens. Anyway okay I am all done. Uh, and surprisingly, the lag is almost all gone. Uh, needless to say, all these dirt clumps laying everywhere does not help. But uh, I completely unloaded the truck, actually placed things on the ground. Anything that's loose is actually, you know, placed on the ground, not dropped. So hopefully the lag is going to be okay. Um, I do have some gold on the belt here, or some stuff, little bits. I want to make sure that all goes into the, the things properly. Uh, what I've done for the... The, conveyor, the sorting system is I've added a couple of chambers here. There's nothing in there. They're, I'm just out of short pipe, so I'm using these things just as uh, to reduce the flow, the pressure. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough. So, needless to say, it's time to start small egg. Let's uh, want to make sure that it's going to clear that system out properly. Uh, so that should be off. So I believe we turn this one on. No filters broken. Good. Uh, also, with the, the drills, I do have the pressure chart out so they don't operate as fast. So hopefully, hopefully we don't have too much of a, a lag here, too much clutter. Oh, and there's that noise. So I want to see how this stuff goes in. Yeah, it's not bad. I might reposition the iron a little bit. But it seems to be... Okay. Some iron didn't go all the way through. Let's see if I can put this one in and see what it, where it goes. See how it does. 
yeah, I might have to move that one out, but we seem to be okay. We're probably not lagging as bad either, so that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing running. I'm going to try to clear up as much of this dirt as I can. And then I'll uh, bring it back and then we'll fire up our, the ram drills and see how bad we lag. Okay, so after working at this for like 20 minutes trying to clean up all this dirt, I realized to hell with it. <laughs> we'll leave it all here, let it build up, and then I'm just going to fire it up and see what happens. Well, we know what's going to happen. A lot of lag, and I already have a harvest that broke them. What do you know? I think it was this one, what's not? Oh, it was you. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch out for that, too. Uh, unfortunately, putting the big chunks on here, let it go up the conveyor, get to the shredded up there, it just forms into a big chunk back in the hopper anyway, so, uh, yeah, I can't let that happen. But, let us go, shall we? I have no idea what's going to happen, uh, besides the fact I got ram drills broken, but apparently they should run. Whoa, there's that lag. It's not terrible, not yet anyways. And I'm sure we're already getting backups. Oh, I gotta turn everything on. Ah. Well, let's let's go all out on this. Let's enjoy that peace and quiet for a second while I gotta turn all these things on. Uh ooh. Uh, good thing we uh checked there. Was, that could be bad. I gotta check all the conveyors to make sure all are clear. So let me get everything turned on, clear it up, and we'll start it up. Okay, let's try that again. So I've got them on. I got the valves off. So let's turn this up. Get the bears going. Hey, lag number one. Lag number two. Lag number three. And too much lag. Probably. See how it goes. Uh, got repairs, so I'm gonna go at this as long as I can. Uh, hopefully, we don't have any issues. And so far, oh, except for a broken harvester or two, we're doing okay. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let me handle this and uh, I'll bring you back later. Come here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta say, it's definitely working. Oh my god, I'm actually doing pretty good. I've only had like one or two jam ups, uh, three. Uh, laggy, but it's working. So I'm gonna go as long as I can with this. Like, look at this, it's just crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, barely. And no, it's not your stream, uh, it's not the, your internet, that's me. Uh, it got so bad, I just said, forget it, and I just let it do its thing, and it's been going for a while. Whew. Oh, so much better. <laughs> Needless to say, say, things got seriously out of hand here. Um, one of the issues I had... Uh, let me skip today here. Uh, let me bring you back. Okay, so I've had this running for about half an hour now and so what I had I had an issue where dirt got plugged up there and needless to say I have entities everywhere the lag was just so bad like there is just so much cold like look at this so now what I gotta do uh, what actually happened the reason why I stopped I was gonna let it go until the filters died but uh, this conveyor lost pressure and there was no way I was gonna change that bar out so as you can see there is so much that hasn't even made it into the coffer, and I know a lot went in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all the dirt, get everything out of the way, and then I'm going to try to get as much gold on the conveyors as I can, get it all into the coffers, and then uh, we'll melt it down, all down and see how much we get. Okay, I decided to keep going. I actually just cut shut off that side there. I was only using this side here. It was actually going pretty good. I think I got about maybe close to an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Uh, so, yeah, I need to do a bit of a cleanup. Uh, it was definitely... I don't know why that's working now. If the filter breaks, don't you think it would just suddenly stop and stay stopped? But, oh well. Let's get that frame rate back. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, what I was noticing is it's definitely got something to do with uh, the game updating the uh, entities. That's why I'm having trouble running all 24 at the same time. I was actually sitting here AFK. It was actually running pretty good occasionally to get the uh, odd jam up. But what's going on is uh, the nuggets are going up the belt and they're just stopping. Because it's trying to move all the other nuggets across the belt and the dirt clumps going up and trying to animate too much this at one time. So uh, you can blame the game, you can blame me. My computer. Anyway, uh, needless to say, I have a lot of gold. I'm pretty sure I do have to do some sort of a cleanup. Uh, definitely clear up all this dirt because, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, as far as the gold situation, I'm sure it's a lot. But uh, let me clean up here. I'm going to see if I can actually get up all the dirt uh, just because that's going to generate so much lag. And every time I load up the save file, it's getting longer and longer. So uh, let me take care. Of it. Let, let me clean up my mess and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I decided to uh, do even more work and just a little bit more. And uh, just to say, uh, I think I've got a fair amount of gold. I have no idea. But I also uh, on this gold bar over there. I have no idea what this is. Oh, that's uh, that's the mini bar. We got thirty grand there. Um, so everything has been melted. Uh, stuff's been getting mixed up in here. I pulled a handful of gems out of here. So I think. Let's go ahead and see what we have. I'm actually kind of wondering about this because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of gold that went through this system, a lot of dirt that went through this system. Okay. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? Okay, off we go. 148,000. Wow. That was a bad considering the amount of blockages I had. Uh, I think we might have to make a necklace out of this one. Got that. We have, I think this one was the six grand. Oh, that's a 20 grand. Okay, and that's four. This was six. Yeah, we'll do this one. Okay, now for the iron. Let's actually see what I have for iron. I can't remember. There's 500. That's nothing. It's 10 grand. That was nothing, and that wasn't much. So maybe we'll make a nice big amulet and an axe. And uh, I do actually have a brush here, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down to bedrock there and try to get us some big gems and see what we can come up with. But first, let's see what we kind of kind of iron we have. That's all shards, too. Uh, that was actually why I had to shut the system down before, is because uh, we were out of pressure. So I refilled all the shard bars and... Got it all up and running again, and let's see what we got out of that. 30,000 for iron. Wow. Okay, um, let me get a gem together, figure out what bars we're going to be using, and we'll make a nice big axe and a, an axe? Sword. We'll make a sword, because we haven't made one of those. Make a sword and an amulet, and we'll go sell it and see what we got. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the bottom here. I'm grabbing some. Uh, some bedrock dirt for some big gems, and I'm look at all the stuff that I lost. As you can actually see through the, the ground, and like, thought I'd see if I could find that relic, see if we can find where that thing was. Maybe we can cheese it out. I have no idea what that is. But I see buckets, I see gold, I see pressure chambers, I see the magnet on a stick I've lost twice. Shared bars and the whole nine yards. Anyway, uh, back to it. Okay, I'm back. I decided to weigh up the shards, see how much we got. We got about 200 kilos there, so that's really good. That'll last a while. Uh, I may get the system up and running again. We'll see. I decided to do a little bit of testing too. Uh, these are one of the nug one of the smaller nuggets that I've been getting, and just a nugget alone is 11. We'll just call it say. Uh, 11 hydro coins. Uh, this is one of the apple sized nuggets I was getting when I was looking for that gem. 90. It's not as much as I was ex expecting it to be, to be honest. Now, trying to deal with lar large volumes of large items like this can be a pain. I'm having trouble dealing with small stuff as it is in large volumes. But needless to say, that was actually pretty good for two hours of runtime 140 grand plus 30 grand in iron. So it's not bad. So, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make a sword. Uh, an amulet was actually two ingots, not three. So I got um, 
I got about forty thousand dollars worth of iron here. I gotta stop step it on stop standing on things when I lift things up. And we're gonna make ourselves a nice big sword out of that. And then we're gonna make two two amulets. Uh, one with the big giant ruby and one with the other emerald that I had. That's a big sword. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can even get it on the scale. Fifty-eight thousand. Wow. That's a nice one. Okay, so now for the first emerald. Or amulets. Pick the small one first. Uh, there's about 11,000 in gold. Plus that emerald. And the emerald's worth about 20 bucks, so who cares about that one, right? Uh, we'll set that to amulet, necklace, whatever you want to call it. And put that one in, and that one, and... Grab it. Thank you. Oh. Put it on the anvil, that might help. And smack. So what do we get for this one? That's not bad. 50% more. 15 grand. Cool. And now for the big one. So that means that this is going to be worth a quarter mil. Not bad. I, honestly, I was pushing for a million. But considering the setup and how inefficient and disaster it is, I'd have to say this is actually really good. I'm impressed. And this is just like bare prices too. This is even playing with the stock market. So, bam. There we go. Something something Wilma Flintstone will be proud of. 236,000. Nice. Okay. I'll meet you at the stock market. Okay, here we are. So, swords are up, but necklaces are down. So now the question is, do I wait till they're both ready, or do I just do the sword now? Let's see what we get for it, because we had 58 on the scale. And this should give us... 62. It's pretty good for it being down. You know what? Because I worked so hard, I deserve an app. Yeah, swords are down again. They're still up, but necklace is down. Uh, we'll try again. Play the old Rip Van Winkle technique. And now everything's down. Again. And again. And again. Until it's ready. <coughs> Nothing. Alright, well, I'll bring you back when I got a good, good price. Okay, that's a little better. Sword's about the same price, but the amulets are way up. Alright, let's see if we can get a half mil. Come on. Get over there. Gotta push it on there. Okay, 63. Now, we got the cheap amulet. Cheap, cheap necklace. Which, uh, probably only like... Let's say 17, so let's put me up to 80. 78. Alright. And now for the big one. Uh, the big one, and to be quite honest, I gotta get left that system running a lot longer than I wanted than I did. I just got things to do. But maybe uh, for the next episode, I might try to grind a million out of that. Because if this is only really maybe an hour and a half, because I didn't have it running the entire time, I was too busy messing around and trying to clean up, and then I made a decision to go again. But three hundred thousand. So how much is that thing worth? Oh wow, it's actually worth quite a bit. Uh, let's see what you got. 239. But it was reading 236 on the scale. That is an amulet, right? Yeah. Sure, whatever. It's money. There's plenty more where that came from. Excuse me. I'd like to get paid. Thank you. So that, with what I have down at the store, just still got about 19,000 there, so that's close to 340 grand. Cool. Next episode, we're going to get a million, and then we're going to build the most expensive house we possibly can. Anyway, I think it's a good place to call it. I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.